we are left with a question. This is we're starting with step eleven, which is an answer to the question where we left off. We left off with the question that the answer that you gave for the first Mishnah, the Mishnah of Regel, doesn't apply to the second Mishnah, the Mishnah of Shain. The first Mishnah answered that the first part is the part where it says Regel is talking about Avos, and where it says Behem was talking about Toldos. That doesn't apply to the second Mishnah, which uh, is talking about Shane, because the Behema part of Shane is talking about an Av, not a Tolda. So why is the, how do we answer the two reasons, the reason why we need two parts for Shane? So step 11 answers, the time of my, what is the reason? Amar Ravashi, Ravashi says, Tana Shane Dechaya, it writes Shane of a Chaya, of a Wild animal, not domesticated animal. Vikatani, and it writes, Shane de Behema. Shane of a um, domesticated animal, of a cow or a goat, etc. That, that's the difference. The first part, when it says Shane, is Muad, to eat what's normal for it. That's talking about a Shane of a Chaya. And the second part, when it says Behema, that's talking about Shane of a Behema. Now, why do we need to make this distinction? Salka Daitach Amina, that abbreviation is Salka Daitach Amina, we would have thought. When it says in the Torah, "Vishilach es biira," which literally means you send your destroyer, but biira also means, as Rashi says, "Targum shel behema." It also means behema. You would think behema in, yeah, behema, yeah, that you're chay of shame for behema, chay lo, but you're not chay for a chaya. Kamash Mons, who comes to teach us, it writes both parts in the Mishnah. The, to teach us the Chaya Bechla Behema, that Chaya is included in Behema, and they are both equally Chaya for Shane. So now we have two parts of the Mishnah. The first part to tell us that Chaya is Chayev, and the second part to say that a Behema is Chayev, because you wouldn't know that they're both Chayev otherwise.